Oh hi Junior Church, welcome back. It's lovely to be with you again. Do you know, it's the end of the summer holidays, isn't it? And it's the beginning of a new term back at school. Now some of you, I know, are gonna be starting school for the very first time. Some of you might be moving to a brand new school, but for some of you, this will be the first time that you've gone back to school in about five months. But for all of you, you're going to be moving into a new classroom, meeting new teachers and seeing your friends after a long time of being away. So how are you feeling about going back to school? The start of any new beginnings can make us feel lots of different things. Maybe you're feeling excited about seeing your friends and your teachers. Maybe you're feeling a little bit nervous about going back to school. And maybe you're feeling a bit sad about uh, not being with your grown-ups after all that time you spent together. But it actually might just be a bubbly mixture of everything. Anyway, let's set off and we'll talk more on the way. Come on. Did you know it says in the Bible that God is with us always, no matter how we're feeling? This month in Junior Church, we are going to be looking about stories all about trust. And in the Bible, we see examples of this, where people take a deep breath and they put their trust in God, even when they feel a little bit afraid or worried about something. Here are some examples of stories that you might know from the Old Testament. So Noah trusted God when God asked him to build a huge boat in the middle of the desert. People must have thought he was crazy. Moses trusted God when he asked him to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Moses must have felt really worried uh, exactly where was he going to take them and how was he going to look after them. Daniel is another character. He trusted God and when he prayed, even though it was against the rules, and he ended up getting thrown to those hungry lions. But in all of these stories, even though they might have felt a bit worried or afraid, they trusted God and they felt confident that he was with them. Knowing that helped them to have courage. They knew that God was with them, no matter how they were feeling. Did you know that there are Christians all over the world today who live in places where it isn't safe to believe in God or even pray to him? They feel afraid too. I wanted to tell you the story about a boy called Hammy. Now he lives in a country called Iran where it isn't safe for him to be a Christian. Listen to the story and see if you can see what his family did when they felt afraid. The story is going to be told to you by a charity called Open Doors and they helped him. There's some information at the end about how you can help children just like Hammy. Hi, my name is Hami. I live in Iran, where it's dangerous to follow Jesus. My parents are Christians, but in secret. We go to church at Pastor Malad's house. I love Pastor Malad. Every week he tells us all about Jesus, how he died for everyone and wants people to be friends with God. One day, we were on our way to church when we saw Pastor Malad being taken away in a police car. When we got home, Mama explained. Pastor Malad has been arrested and now he's in jail. Why? For teaching us about Jesus and how much Jesus loves us. So Pastor Malad went to jail for us? Why would he do that? Because Pastor Malad follows Jesus. Jesus loved us so much that he died to save us and Pastor Malad was so full of Jesus' love, he chose to share it with us, even though he knew he could go to prison for it. What will happen to Pastor Malad? I don't know, but with Jesus there is always hope. Oh, I know you're worried about Pastor Malad, but Jesus tells us we can trust him instead of worrying. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. Should we pray for Pastor Malad? Stories like this are common in places where it is dangerous to follow Jesus. But Jesus promises he will never leave his people, no matter where they live. And today, you can send a message of encouragement to Christian children from Iran.
Can you remember what Hammy's mum said to him to help him stop worrying? She told him a verse from the Bible from John 14 chapter 1 where Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. What a great verse! Jesus was basically saying, I know there'll be times when you feel nervous and when you feel afraid, but when you do, I'm here. So just have, you just have to trust me. Now your story will be different to Hammy's, but there will still be things that worry you. Can you remember what Hammy and his family did when they felt afraid? Yes, that's right, they prayed. So whatever you are facing, if you feel nervous about going back to school, remember what Jesus said in John 14 verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. And know that God is always here with us, no matter where we are or how we're feeling. So I'm here in my hammock because like Hammy, Hammy we can chat to God about anything. So shall we chat to God together now? Make sure you're in a comfortable place like me and you're free from anything that might distract you. You might want to sit quietly or you might want to lie down and just chill out. Chatting and catching with God is a bit different to listening to your family or friends because God made our bodies and he can speak to us in different ways. So are you comfy? I'm going to pray. I'm just going to pray that the Holy Spirit would come and be with us as we chat and catch with God. So let's chat with him. Now our first question is, I'd like you to tell God what the best thing that you did in your summer holidays was. You can either say it in your head or you can whisper it into your hand if you'd like to. What was the best thing about your summer holidays? Okay, now I want you to tell God about how you feel about going back to school. Fab. Now God loved us so much that he wants to chat back to us and we call this catching. Now you might hear God's voice in your mind Sometimes in the Bible we read about people having dreams or seeing a picture or hearing a word or just feeling a little bit different. Sometimes when we feel worried about certain things uh, we can chat to God and we just feel a great sense of peace. You know in all of this we need to remember what we know about the character of God. That he is loving, that he is kind and that he is caring. So if you hear from God Ask yourself, is this something that you think that God would say to us or about us? Is it in his character? So let's catch from God. Are you ready? Okay, ask God what was his favourite bit about your school holidays? Now one of my favourite things to do when I was at school was sitting on the carpet and listening to stories at story time. So why don't you ask God what story he'd like to read with you? And there we have it. You could chat and catch with God this week. Now if you didn't feel like you heard from God, then don't worry. Remember. He can speak to us in lots of different ways. And we've learned today that God is always with us, but sometimes it can take us a while to hear him clearly. It doesn't mean that he loves you any less. Just keep practicing, asking him questions like you would if you were training for a race. Have a great week and keep chatting and catching with God. There is a great verse from the Bible that says, Strength, courage, do not be timid, don't get discouraged. God, your God, is with you every step you take. Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. So as you take those first steps into school and say goodbye to your grown-ups, remember that however you are feeling, God is there with you every step you take. May God bless you and your families this week.
peace with you.